The grand jury won't have a decision for at least a week, and they met behind closed doors like always. But that didn't sit well with Native American activists who showed up to protest, taking that protest from the courthouse to City Hall. This video shows the struggle between Omaha police and Zachary Bear Heels. Bear Heels died shortly after that confrontation, and the county attorney shared this video with the public months ago. But it was just presented as evidence to the grand jury Tuesday. Native Americans gathered outside the courtroom seeking justice. Frustrated, they were turned away. I'm very concerned. I think it is unconscionable that all of these who gathered from this community do not know what's going on in the other room. Bill Black with the Attorney General's office approached the crowd, offering insight into how a grand jury works. If it was secret, sure. why did we read about it in the paper? The proceedings what? in the room are secret. All grand jury proceedings are secret until a final decision is made according to federal law. Protesters say this is the first time anyone's explained the processes. Why does nobody in this town know that? Why does the native community, the most disaffected by this, why do they not know what you're telling me right now? After being turned away at the courthouse, the protesters moved to the mayor's office. Why isn't the advisory council formed? What's the magic number? No one's given us details. No one's talking to us. Native leaders met with city leaders in June after Bear Hill's death to discuss creating an advisory council. The mayor's office says it followed up but didn't get calls back. We have. How many y'all have? I applied and nobody's I haven't got an email or nothing. But after today's heated exchange, there's finally progress. And we do have volunteers now. I think we can move forward a lot quicker. We want to make sure that this gets done. We want to make sure that's justice for uh, the Bear Hills family. The mayor's office and the Native Americans say they do plan to meet again next week to start on an agenda for that advisory council. Reporting live outside the Douglas County Courthouse, Sarah Feely, KETV News Watch 7.